check out this multicolored masterpiece. It's a 1956 Massey Harris 444 High Arch, owned by the Armstrong family of Brookfield, Missouri. Although it only had a small two-year production run, the Triple Four has made a big impression on classic tractor collectors. I always decided that if I wanted to restore a tractor, I wanted to go with something that no one had. Um, the triple four or triple five, something like that. My brother heard it on a, on a radio ad in Carrollton, Missouri, kind of a farm ad, a swap meet. A uh, guy called in, said he had it, wanted $1,500 for it. We were looking for it, so we called him up and we went down and purchased it that night. It was rough, uh, all rusted, the grill was out of it. Uh, basically the only thing, it did run. We tore it down from the ground up. Um, everything, every nut, bolt, everything came off of it. The actually only thing we never had to do was rebuild the engine. The guy had, before we had purchased it, had just rebuilt the motor. I think it took around three months, four months for us to complete the project. Um, that's working every day after work, every night, all weekend long. The Triple Four used the same 277 cubic inch Continental four-cylinder engine as the Massey Model 44 it replaced. It featured a two-range gearbox with 10 forward and two reverse speeds. In addition, a beautiful bronze was added to the color scheme to help make this tractor stand out from the rest. The most important feature to me is the color. Um, I love the red, the yellow, and, and the gold sets it off. It, it's it's uh, the silver. It's just not a, a basic dull red or, you know, single color tractor. It's the multicolor that I really enjoy about it. The paint scheme, it's beautiful, but it, it's hard to paint. Everything has to come apart and, and be put back and, and everything else. The red's not too hard to, to come by. You can pretty much match it. The yellow is called a straw yellow and the silver is just a metallic silver. The bronze is actually a, a Chrysler gold. Um, it's a color that Chrysler used years ago on their cars, and that's what's uh, close, closest to what we found to be the actual color. Besides the eye-catching colors, the Massey Harris triple-digit tractors are easily identified by the large chrome ornament on the front of the hood. The hood ornament, th this is all original. This cleaned up really nice, but the hood ornament itself was pretty bad shape, pretty rough. Um, there was no way we could get them pits out of there, so, so we just left it there, and, and that's kind of just an original piece that we've left and not restored. Power steering and three-point lifts were two optional extras on the triple four. That three-point hitch is still put to good use today thanks to a custom-designed seat which allows family members to ride along during parades or just on trips around the pasture. This is the seat my brother designed for us. Um, did the upholstery work. <laughs> Put a couple massy patches on there for me. The tractor has the auxiliary hydraulics right there in the back. It also has the velvet ride seat. The velvet ride seat was a big thing. That was kind of like an air ride seat back in the day. Um, not so much anymore. As you can see, it's just a spring. I've seen people in, in parades and stuff, they'll take, a, they'll take a regular football and they'll lift that up and stick that football down in there and that'll keep that spring solid and it'll ride a lot better. In 1956, you could purchase this tractor just as it is for around $3,600. I'm probably not gonna take that for that today. I guarantee. The Triple Four is one of a handful of beauties owned by the Armstrongs. They mostly collect Massey Harris and Massey Ferguson tractors with one exception. We are a Massey family. My father grew up around in Massey's and my brother, uh, he kind of went against us. He went with the orange paint and he, has, he just restored a Alice Chalmers D14. Well, brothers will do that sometimes. Still, Brian, his father, brother, and brother-in-law all have a hand in restoring the tractors in their classic collection. 
and they take great pride in helping to preserve America's agricultural history. Massey's are pretty much gone. They have the, the Massey Ferguson's now, but the Massey Harris's are in history, and we, we just like to preserve a little history. My family does have classic tractor fever. We're a tight-knit family. It's something no one can take from me. The quality time that we spend together, it will always be there, and I will always have it in the back of my mind. That's the most important thing.